Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Final Concept. So today I'm going to show you how I bring back the white in a photo using Adobe Photoshop. But you can pretty much use Adobe Lightroom for this too. Anyway, let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up our application. For this tutorial, I'll be using this image I have in here. And if you take a closer look, you see that in their white clothes, we have a little bit of magenta and a purple-like look in there. So this is what we want to correct. So I'll go ahead and right-click and open this up in Adobe Photoshop. So over here, I'm actually going to create a duplicate so that you see the before and the after. So with the background still active, I'll hold down Control and press J. This is going to create a duplicate for us. Or you can pretty much just click and drag onto the new layer icon, which is the second icon from the right, and it's going to duplicate for you. Now I'll be using the camera raw filter. So make sure that when you go to image and mode, you have it set to RGB. If it is set to CMYK, this camera raw filter is not going to work. So I'll go into filter and I'll just select it from here, camera raw filter, or you can use shift control plus A. Now, once we are in here, you know what? Let me just bring this up a little bit so that it fills up most of our screen. I'm not really going to play so much with the basics where we have the exposure and the contrast and all of that, I'm sure you are able to work around that area. What we are interested in is the color mixer. If you are using an older version of Photoshop, I think it comes with a different name. Uh, it's been a while, so I don't quite remember. So what we want to do is, uh, I think it's the HSL, yeah. You just go into the HSL where we have the hue, the saturation, and the luminance. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll go into the saturation and you see the colors are actually purple and the magenta that is what we want to tone down a little bit so i'll go into the purples i'm going to tone it down not all the way but somewhere around the negative 80 negative 75 i think it's okay then i'll go into the magenta and i'll do the exact same thing now you can see that we are seeing some effect this is what you get unfortunately if you have any other colors like the color i have here it is also going to affect it. You can see as I slide across, that color is also going to be affected. That is because this is also in there like so. Let me fit this back to screen. I'm also going to turn down the blue because the image here or the person here is bled out. So it doesn't really affect me so much. So I'm going to turn it down also somewhere around here. And you see, we are getting more white in the picture. Now, once I do that, I'll go also into the luminance then I'll turn down most of what I just did. So the blues will go down a little bit so that we see a little bit of the details in the clothes, especially for the white parts. You don't go all the way because it will start looking very weird. So somewhere around here should be fine. I'll go into the purples and turn it down. I mean, the luminance will also come down and the magenta, you don't actually see it so much. But if you look at where the arm is, you will notice the difference. So basically somewhere around here is just fine. Now, once you are done, then you can go into your bases and you can manipulate them. The reason why I do this, um, I go into the color mixer or the HSL slider first is because once I'm able to correct those colors, when I come here, I don't have to work so much, especially when it comes to the highlights, because I've already toned down the highlights using the HSL. So basically that is it. Um, I don't really do anything. I've already edited this image. So I'm sorry, I can't give you much tutorial about how to edit your image. This tutorial is basically based on how to get the white. So when I click on okay, this is what we get. If I turn the eyeball off and on, this is what we get. You can basically see the difference. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to watch more of our videos, Hit on the subscribe button and as always, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Fino Concept and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.